Hey guys, it's Jay. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> so, more toy news on the way. This is this is pretty exciting. Um, yeah, I just can't believe how much toy news happens pretty much on a daily basis. It's kind of crazy, but it only means good things for us. So, guys, this is pretty exciting. So, Hasbro Pulse did another fan first. I don't understand. It's either Friday, or Thursday, sometimes it's Monday. What is going on, Hasbro? Anyway, today was their fan first Thursday, and it covered everything Marvel Legends. So. Let's have let's dive in and take a quick look at what ha what what they announced today because this stuff is exciting, guys. So yeah, it was it was really a lot of fun. The Hasbro team was pretty much unveiling everything Eternals today. It was pretty amazing. Today we we sat down with Ryan, Dwight, and Dan. Ryan from Brand Marketing, Dwight, Dwight from Product Design, and Dan from Brand Marketing. These guys have pretty much been leading the team in terms of the Marvel Legends team. It's pretty awesome to be able to continue meeting with these guys every time there's a fan first Friday or Thursday. We've gotten pretty familiar with their uh, quirky little attitudes. It's kind of fun. Dan's the really quiet guy, you know what I mean? All right, so today they did, re they did reveal almost every single one of the Eternals line, and it was pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I don't know much about Eternals. I knew a little bit about them when I was growing up. I saw a couple of, a couple of the comics. And yeah, I'm not... <laughs> we're just Not that I want to gloss over this, but I really don't know en enough about the Eternals uh, figures to actually give any sort of, uh, you know, real commentary. The figures do look amazing, though. Um, this is the main character here, uh, who I remember seeing on a whole bunch of different comic book covers when I was growing up. All the entire team here, they all, they all look... Here's the problem with the, that, I, that I see with many of the Eternals figures. They all seem to be wearing pretty much the same clothing, which kind of makes it hard to really, um, you know, make... Well, it's easier to make action figures out of that, I'm pretty sure. The, 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 the bodies themselves are all pretty much the same. But the... Yeah, the, the, the costumes... And it, it has to do a lot with the way the costume design is in the movie, right? So, honestly, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'll be collecting this line. They do look amazing. I do have to, I do have to admit... They're a little bit more refreshing than your standard, you know, superhero bucks. You know, they're 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 not they're not necessarily skin type, all the musculature, or you see all you know all the features of the characters. It's not necessarily like that, and that's that's fine. It's 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 actually a great look. They look more like human beings, but we are talking about gods here, practically, right? So, yeah, it it kind of gives that sense that it, it's a bit you know off world kind of situation. And but I have to admit, they do look they do look amazing. I do have to say though. These these figures, I think they're gonna be. There's gonna be a bit of a problem posing them. The, the the costumes themselves are not soft goods. So you know, with 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 only a small slit in between the legs, I really think it's gonna be an issue. Uh, you know, with these particular characters, time will tell. Um, you know, Gilgamesh being the build a figure, man, he's gigantic, right? He does look pretty cool. Um, yeah, looking forward to this line, but um, I'll be honest with you, not sure if I'm gonna be collecting it myself. But they do look gorgeous, I have to admit. These are some of the best looking uh, photoreal faces and, you know, designs that I've seen in quite some time from Marvel. Uh, so yeah, very, very excited about this particular release. But until I actually see the movie, again, I just don't know enough about the characters to actually, you know, really give too much commentary. I did want to cover them a little bit today because obviously this is uh, the Marvel Legends um, Fan First Thursday. So there you go, guys. Marvel Sprite, uh, Makari, uh, Fast uh, Fast Fast Fastos. Uh, Durug, uh, Drug, uh, Kingo, Marvel series, and of course, Gilgamesh to build a figure. So yeah, guys, if, are you guys excited for these guys? They do look amazing. Hopefully they'll start coming out pretty soon. I believe the, the pre-orders actually started today. They also uh, released a, a deluxe figure, Crow, uh, who I believe is the main baddie of the entire series. He looks crazy. He looks like some sort of uh, a moss man type of creature or, or something like that. Again, don't know enough about the series to actually make real commentary on this. I apologize, guys. But let's get to the meat and potatoes of what we're really here for. Spider-Man No Way Home. This looked amazing when I saw it on the screen. Man. I love the trailer. I thought it was really brilliant. Uh, you know, the fact that they're bringing in new characters and new designs. The fact that, uh, you know, Stephen Strange is coming in and they have some sort of a camaraderie between each other. I thought it was really, really cute. So, yeah, we got to see the first look at the new Spider-Man suit. Uh, this looks this looks pretty pretty cool. I love the I love the overall look. Um, very much uh, in, in in line with the with the existing Spider-Man line. But, you know, every single movie, they always uh, create a new suit for the most part. Right, I mean, uh, Spider-Man's original um, tech suit that uh, that Tony gave him didn't really la like it lasted for the most of the movie, but at the end they had to actually, you know, create a brand new suit uh, which was more akin to a, a more tech design. So yeah, it's really interesting seeing this new design. Uh, would love to see it on screen. Uh, this is one thing about toys that that always gets me. 
Uh, in order to actually create toy lines, they actually have to create almost like spoilers for kids. It's kind of funny that way. But luckily, there's nothing uh, to do with the storyline on the box, so we we can we can pretty much uh, ascend from that. So I'm 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 kind of thinking that these are suits from other uh, you know parts of the multiverse. <laughs> That's a funny word that we're using there. So DC multiverse, Marvel multiverse. It's kind of weird. So yeah, this looks this suit looks really really sli slick. We've been seeing this type of koi out in the aisles already uh, with, the, with the, you know, um, lower-priced uh, Spider-Man figures. It's really interesting. It's got gold, gold highlights for his webbing. You know, the, the inner arms are actually uh, red in nature. I'm really interested to see how this suit actually performs and what it actually does, you know, its actual powers. Because, as you know, they don't make suits for no reason. You know, uh, if Tony Stark was the one who designed that suit, we can pretty much guarantee that um, it's going to be something badass. But one of my absolute favorite characters that was revealed today, which we already knew was coming, but still, love to see this, love to see this guy always. J. Jonah Jameson, guys. Holy crap, this is awesome. The actor, uh, J.K. Simmons, man, he just did a perfect, perfect, perfect version of J. Jonah Jameson. I can't believe, I can't imagine anybody else uh, doing J. Jonah, J. Jonah Jameson in any capacity. He is incredible. What an amazing actor. They captured his likeness perfectly here. Love the blue suit. Love the uh, you know the op the open neck it looks looks great you know he's got that screaming face he's got that uh, you know slightly stoic face it it it, it really does you know uh, invoke the actual character's emotions I love the pointing finger pretty much you know ac uh, accusatory uh, you know point it's so great honestly really really captured uh, the, the 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 likeness and the overall uh, look and feel. Of J. Jonah Jameson, loving this character. Oh my god, I'm so excited to be able to add this particular character, J.K. Simmons, to my collection. J. Jonah Jameson, holy crap, so exciting. Guys, are you excited about that? But, he's not the only one in the movie. Yeah, we, we, we get ourselves a Doctor Strange. And, and this, um, I know, I know they've been talking about it for a little bit, but to be able to get another Doctor Strange in the line is never a bad thing. He's still wearing the Eye of Agamotto, uh, albeit empty. Again, it, it's it's going to be an interesting um, sort of uh, movie, um, or is it is it is it a full Eye of Agamotto? Because uh, you know we, we do know that, that Captain America went back and replaced all the stones. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting uh, concept. We'll see how it goes. Looks a little bit different than the uh, first release of, of Doctor Strange. I think the head sculpt is brand new. Uh, the photo reel is new as well. He's got a different hairstyle. The overall um, uh, costume is is slightly tweaked. But he does come with his two uh, blast effects. In this case, the the shields, uh, which he, which he projects. He's got some new, uh, you know, hands and details. The Eye of Agamotto, I believe, is also brand new. So yeah, the uh, and, and and the uh, the his cape is also, I think, a brand new sculpt. So yeah, they're looking very much forward to this new uh, version of of uh, Doctor Strange. And you know what? I kind of like the character. He's a little bit he's a little bit chunkier than he was before. Yeah, uh, his boots are like really, really thick. I wonder if that's because it's been snowing inside of his ca in inside of the um, um, his lair. <laughs> they also released a whole bunch of new um, in the same line. They also released a whole bunch of uh, comic book characters, um, and they look great. Um, yeah, don't know too much about uh, you know the the, the vampire Morlin figures. They they were again not something that I was really uh, completely into when I was a kid. I know that uh, you know Blade Blade is a is a half vampire, but some of these other characters uh, they look amazing. But again, not really not really I didn't really read into those particular comics. This particular character Shriek got a lot of attention in the show because she is the first female character with pinless arms, uh, pinless elbows, and pinless knees. That's going to be a new uh, initiative going forward. Marvel seems to be going that. Sorry, uh, Hasbro seems to be going that direction. So yeah, it's going to be very exciting to see these new types of designs. She is a little bit shorter though, according to the team. Uh, yeah, but they are planning on making slightly longer legs for for this for females going forward. The other release in the line is the Miles Morales version in the Game Reverse series. So this is actually from the current line of uh, Sony uh, PlayStation games. He does look awesome. Looks literally like he jumped right out of the right out of the video game screen. Loving the sleek design of Miles' uh, overall suit. He does look amazing. Um, the, the head sculpt is very very faithful. He definitely does look like uh, pretty much exactly the way he did in the video game. So any any fans of the video game, if you're looking for a Miles Morales to add to your shelf, he looks incredible. I love the photo reel uh, because again the the faces in video games are trying to get photo real as, as possible. And the webbing design that he's got on his on his chest, 
Very, very well detailed. Love it. I love the um, the texture that's on the, the chest as well. Seriously looking forward to all these characters being released. Love it. The Build-A-Figure for this particular uh, line is, without any exaggeration, is literally gigantic. It's Armadillo. He's massive. You know, following up from uh, Ursa Major uh, in the last release, man, this guy is ridiculous. He's got... He looks big. He looks beefy. He is incredible. He's got these gigantic big claws, these huge hands, slightly shorter, uh, you know, um, uh, legs, but, th you know, that that's in line with the character. Big, huge torso, big, huge upper arms, upper upper thing. He's got practically no, he has no neck, and he's got, you know, his his, his helmeted, like, almost football-like in appearance. Honestly, he's a, he's going to be an amazing figure to, to, to build, to collect with all the rest of the line. Honestly, he's 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 really amazing. His uh, little cameo appearance in um, the the Modoc series was a lot of fun. I thought that was really cute. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that show, you know you should definitely check it out. But yeah, he's looking like a great character to build. Really excited for this man. They're just killing it over at Marvel right now. It's it's just ridiculous. So once again, to recap the line, it is the home the No Way Home Spider Man, the um, the the red suit, the black suit, No Way Home Spider Man, the awesome J Jonah Jameson. So, honestly, J.K. Simmons is really killing it. Uh, the new version of uh, um, Doctor Strange. Uh, Morlin, uh, the vampire. Uh, Marvel's Sh uh, Shriek, who is a brand new uh, female figure for the line with penless arms and penless elbows. And the Gamerverse Miles Morales Spider-Man. Look for these guys coming uh, soon. It's on It's on pre-order today at HasbroPulse.com. Uh, and I believe they're probably going to start pre-ordering over at GameStop. You know, and and other um, other retail locations as well. So yeah, guys, this was this was a really exciting um, announcement. There is a Walmart exclusive that they did talk about, which is um, the the movie version of uh, Spider Man from Endgame. He does come with a brand new head sculpt for Tom Holland. Honestly, he's looking a little bit too mature for me. It looks a little bit older, uh, even more so than he did in the actual movie. But the overall the overall design and the photo reel looks great. Literally looks like he jumped out of the screen from um, from the last uh, Spider-Man movie. Um, seriously, loving loving this guy, loving the fact that he's being released. He is a Walmart exclusive, definitely one to collect if you can actually track him down. Guys, the hunt continues in 2021. It's gonna be crazy, guys. So look for this in the, in, in the next coming um, in the next coming weeks uh, or months. Sorry, the this is not being pre-ordered at Hasbro Pulse. It literally is just a Walmart exclusive. So guys, look forward to that. But one of the most exciting reveals that, that happened for me today is definitely the new Spider-Man's Spider-Man Endgame Iron Spider Helmet. As you go, as you guys know, I am huge into helmets. I, helmets are my thing. I love collecting helmets. And this thing just blew me away when I saw it. Oh my god, it looks incredible. Um, yeah, it comes with so many different new features. It's got light-up eyes. The, the first incarnation is blue, which is standard mode when it's actually activated. But it does have... A instant kill mode, which uh, is it's which the the eyes actually turn bright red. It's hard to see on the screen here, but uh, they do demonstrate that it does turn red. It's kind of cool. Obviously, on camera, it's 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 always uh, more difficult to showcase uh, the features of these actual uh, helmets. But I am loving that concept that they can actually switch from blue to red, and. From experience, I know that the LEDs are actually much brighter in person than they are presented on screen or, or in pictures. So, guys, I am super excited for this new adult size Spider-Man Endgame helmet. This is definitely something that I'm really excited about. I love helmets. I love collecting helmets. It's going to look gay on the shelf. Uh, it comes with an elastic band. The, the helmet actually separates from the back. I don't know if uh, Dwight showed it here. Yeah, right there. He actually shows that um, it actually separates. And there's actually an elastic gland that keeps the whole helmet together. So that's a nice feature. And it's got cushioning at the top and the bottom of the head. So it, when you're wearing it as a cosplay, it's not going to get uncomfortable over time. A couple of the smaller things that they re revealed today, which I'm just going to um, you know quickly touch on. Nothing too, nothing too major, but if you're into army building, they did release a shield uh, army builder 2-pack. So we have two shield officers here. They come with additional swapped heads, three different types of heads. Uh, you know, a slightly Asian-looking uh, person, a slightly more uh, Caucasian-looking person. Actually, he looks, more, he looks more Hispanic than he does Asian. And I believe they do have a darker-skinned individual. Yeah, there he is. They're all looking awesome. They all look really great. If you're into army building, this is this, this is a, one of the best ways to go. You, got, you can't beat it. Definitely look like comic book versions, the, 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 the classic comic book versions of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents. 
they do look amazing. Uh, and if you really want to go for a classic look, you probably could put uh, Samuel L. Jackson's head on one of these bodies. I think it would. I think that would actually be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it comes in a two-pack. Uh, I believe it is up for pre-order today on HasbroPulse.com. Don't quote me on that, guys. You should definitely check HasbroPulse.com to see them. comes with a host of accessories, obviously two different figures, two styles of helmeted heads, three additional heads, one which I think is slightly Hispanic, the other one which is a, a, a darker-skinned individual, and definitely a Asian-inspired uh, individual. Uh, three sets of hands to match each of the, each of the characters, two uh, small pistols, and one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, four, count them, four pulse uh, rifles in different configurations. This is crazy. Wonderful pack. They didn't talk about price. Uh, if they did talk about pricing, I kind of didn't uh, missed it. But guys, you can probably check all those prices on HasbroPulse.com. The other army builder, which they did not release in a two-pack, which is kind of uh, sad, uh, is the the scroll, um, <clears throat> the scroll army builder. He's looking pretty cool. Definitely uh, very different from the uh, Super Scroll. Uh, but yeah, he comes with he comes in, a, in your standard Marvel configuration. He definitely looks like your classic version of a Skrull character. Um, he's he's got that kind of uh, you know upset face, <laughs> but he's also got a very 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 pissed off face. Yeah, it's it's this is definitely going to be a fun character for anybody who grew up uh, reading Fantastic Four. You know, learning more about the Skrulls in their original incarnation, which is a whole bunch of like nasty individuals. Yeah, he comes with a lot, whole bunch of accessories, a gigantic rifle, a small, what looks like, you know, alien uh, handgun. Again, he's got his sort of upset face and a, his really, really pissed off face. Looking really great. Love those purples. Love those grays. Awesome character. And the most exciting reveal today for me, which pretty much will end, uh, will end off on today on a very high note. They finally revealed that they are releasing the Excalibur team. Holy crap, guys. When I was growing up, this particular issue, issue number one of Excalibur, was my pride and joy. I read it every other day. It was incredible how this affected me. I love this is where I really got into comics, like big time. And the release on this, I couldn't be happier. The first release was was uh, teased earlier in the week from another YouTuber. It is, of course, Captain Britain, the man himself, the brother of Bretsy Bryant. He is incredible. Gigantic, you know, huge stature. Uh, you know, this is the mutant team that everyone wants from Britain. They are incredible. Love his design. He's wearing that Union Jack. So proud. Oh my gosh. Just lo looks like he just jumped out straight of the comic book pages. I love Captain Britain as a character. You know, he has his character to flaws. You know, when he found out that, that uh, when, he, when he thought that Betsy died, he got drunk. You know, he literally got stone cold drunk. It was crazy. He even threw Megan out of, of, of his castle. You know, it was, it was, it was insane. Wonderful character. Love the fact that he's actually being released. Comes with the Excalibur sword. <laughs> what a wonderful nod to the comics. Excellent. He also comes with two head sculpts. His regular head sculpt, which I recognize from the original comic book Excalibur. And he comes with his um, his more grown-up face. Uh, the, the more current design for Captain Britain with the, the goatee, you know, the big mustache. I, I can relate, 100%. But the characters that really got me, the ones that really excited me today, honestly... Oh my god, they announced Megan. Guys, I couldn't believe it. They announced Megan for the very first time ever. Megan is finally being released as a character in the Marvel Legends series. She looks incredible, honestly. When I saw her, I was like, no, I can't believe it. Now I actually have to collect this damn thing. She looked incredible. Literally looks like she jumped out of the, uh, of, of the comic book pages. She's got elf ears, guys. Elf ears. She looks gorgeous. In her traditional um, suit that she wore in the series, a little bit more uh, of a modern take on it, has her bare feet. Oh my god. Exactly like an elf should be. Wonderful, wonderful designs. Loving this character. Can't wait for it. No additional HUD sculpt because she's just got this gigantic poofy, like seriously gigantic tuft of hair. It's literally, I think it's going to weigh her back when she tries to stand. It's going to be one of those crazy things. Um, this is not on the new uh, female body. She does have pins in her legs, but she's looking incredible. I definitely have to get this collection just to get Megan. She looks incredible. And then, the surprise character of this three-pack set. Yes, I did say three-pack set. Oh my god, this is crazy. It's Kitty Pride, everybody. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Shut, like this is, this is incredible. I can't believe it. We have Kitty Pride in the collection. And she looks exactly as she did back in Excalibur. She's got that 80s inspired, you know, uh, look with the with the baggy um, arms and the, the the you know the baggy forearms on her sh and that the what's that called? the sash just hanging off her off her waist. 
beautiful boots. She looks in, she looks in, incredible. Oh my gosh, just wonderful. Love the fact that Kitty Pride, uh, in this incarnation of Kitty Pride, very first time she's ever been seen. Apparently, this is the only the second time that she's ever been created as a physical character in this mode. Oh my gosh, love it. Looking great. Not the new sculpt. It does have the two um, pinned knees, but still. Loving it. It does. She does have pinless elbows, though. It looks. It looks like so. Seriously, loving this collection. It is a three. It, it, it is a three pack set. You do get Captain Britain, Shadow Cat, and of course Ma uh, Megan. This pack is in that. Oh God, that that's just that. Uh, you know, light, light, light blue uh, packaging, which has pretty much been on all their three packs for the X Men design. Still loving it. Love the fact that this is being released. I, I, I forgot to mention the actual accessories they come with. Captain Britain comes with an extra head. Also comes with Excalibur. Megan comes with two additional fists. And Shadowcat, Kitty Pride, comes with uh, two additional hands. And she comes with Lockheed. Oh my gosh. We kind of expected it, right? What is Kitty Pride and what is Excalibur without Lockheed? They look so great. Um, can't believe this amazing announcement is one of the absolute uh, you know surprises for me. Love the fact that they actually uh, released these. And the final release for today, the final news, Galactus has been fully funded. This is a triumph for everybody. I knew it was going to happen. 14,000 backers. Congratulations, everybody. You guys did it. It's incredible. But uh, on that note, they also did manage to get, you know, this last week, as I predicted it, you know, the fear of missing out really did drive everybody to actually do this. 16,000 backers. So Frankie Nova has been unlocked. She will be included in the in the, um, in the the release with Galactus. And honestly, they're pretty much just going to give this character away. Because at 17,000 backers, which is only 1,000 away from Frankie, they're going to release... And we knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. But they're going to release the next version. The What is this? The 8th version? The 6th version of Silver Surfer. But... I have to admit, this is one that's very exciting. This is one that comes with a flight stand. Oh my gosh! This is finally something that you can pose and put on your screen uh, and put on your your shelf, posed in a surfing motion with a, a flight stand. This is something I think a lot of a lot of fans of Silver Surfer are going to want. So, guys, I'm almost guaranteeing. I'm pretty much calling it now. This is definitely going to be backed 100% with both heralds, Frankie Nova and and uh silver surfer let's just check the numbers really quickly what is it at it is at 16,176 they only need 17,000 to unlock silver surfer with four days left to go i'm guaranteeing pretty much guaranteeing that silver surfer will be unlocked uh to be released with marvel legends galactus holy crap guys what an incredible um fan first friday uh this week uh, sorry, fan first Thursday this week again. The, the, um, Marvel Legends, you guys got to you guys got to get that together, man. It's pretty crazy. What was your favorite uh, release of this particular fan first Thursday? I know that my absolute favorite release today, favorite announcement today, was of course, oh man, Excalibur. I cannot believe that these guys are finally, finally being realized in plastic form. This is so exciting for me. Captain Britain, Megan, and of course Shadowcat. Holy crap, guys! That was amazing for me. But what were you guys excited for? Were you guys excited for the new uh, Armadillo Build-A-Figure? Were you guys excited for uh, Galactus's, um, you know, fully backed uh, campaign? Were you excited for the new Eternals figures? Please, guys, leave all your comments in the comment section below. I love reading your comments and I try to reply to them as best as I can. But guys, let me know what you thought of this new Marvel Legends uh, update from Hasbro Pulse. It seems like Toy News just never stops, guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave your, leave your comments in the comment section below. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing as it helps YouTube to realize that I'm doing a job and you guys enjoy my work. Well, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Geek proud, everybody. Geek proud.